The supernova observations that discovered the acceleration of our universe's expansion also provided key missing information for our benchmark model. What astronomers do is to plot the expected luminosity distance for a variety of scenarios concerning the contents and curvature of the universe. Then they lay the actual observed luminosity distance over the graph to see which scenario is the best fit. Here we see that the lambda cold dark matter scenario, with matter accounting for 30%, and vacuum energy accounting for 70%, is the current best fit. It is the current benchmark model. With this benchmark model, we can map the expansion history of the universe from decoupling to the present and on into the future. To illustrate, let's take a final look at GNZ11's numbers. Its redshift of 11.09 gives us the scale factor at emission time, which gives us the time the light was emitted. All the other numbers follow. For the CMB radiation, the redshift tells us that the light we see now was only 42 million light years away from our location when it was emitted. It traveled for just under 13.8 billion years to reach us, and its starting location is now 46.5 billion light years away, making the diameter of the visible universe 93 billion light years.